I am in no sort, form, or way ready for tonight's stream. Welcome. How are we all doing this evening? Hi there. Let's see. Is our stove off and all that good jazz? That actually still got some water in it, though. I need to filter that oil still. Make some coffee. Welcome Bun Buns, welcome Catalina. Happy to see everyone in chat this evening. Not really, I'm just out of some of my small filters. Thankfully, I only think I have. Oh, I was hopeful I only have two more of these bags, but I, I think I have five. Um. Yeah, I might be buying some proper size filters here soon. I'm getting tired of using these O1s instead of a proper two. There's a purple thing on my counter. See if we can't fix you a little bit here. You're out of whack. It's a little better. We got some limes, we got some cabbage, I got an avocado, got some green onion out here, some jalapeno out here. We got those tomatoes that have been sitting out here for a week now. We're gonna be using all these things tonight, at least to some degree. Definitely not using all the green onions tonight, definitely not using all the red cabbage tonight.
I think, other than one item, that I have all my shopping done for Friday. And really, the one item is because you want that to be, like, primo that day. New bottle. Give a little bit of a shake up. Hey, HUD. Is it morning for you? I always think of it being late. Well, it's. It must be morning, like 1, 2 in the morning for you. Which, in that case, good morning to you. Greatly appreciate you hanging out with us. It's sort of weird that it's it, it's morning for you, but it, it's also morning for Catalina. Who? It, it's proper morning for her. <laughs> Cheer, folks. Cheers, folks. Welcome. Man. Happy Wednesday to you. Ooh, that was tasty. <sighs> Let's see what the directions are on these things. If I'm supposed to be baking these or frying them. I was making the assumption that I was going to fry them tonight. But we don't have to. Huh. They actually don't recommend that. So we'll skip it, actually. I can do some bacon instead of some frying tonight. With our Gordon's fish sticks. Mm. 425. Okay, we can do that. I'm going to throw this back in the freezer to stay nice and cold. HUD, I honestly don't eat enough fish sticks to know if I A, like them or not, or B, to recommend one brand or another to you. Uh, I went with Gorton's and I suggested Gorton's and the ingredient suggestion challenge, which made it to the finals here, uh, because they're original. They're, they're the original fish stick company. 
So I'm actually going to get this oil apparatus out of the way here. So first plans for this evening, I think we need to get our first tray of fish stocks and sticks ready. Um, I need to get a, I need to get some butter defrosting. We're not necessarily defrosting, but coming to room temp at least. Ooh, a meeting. Basically everything here hinges on getting this oven up to temp. I was thinking we were going to have to clean some oil and fry them all. Which still might be a possibility of trying in the future here. I think I overpurchased for tonight. I bought two bags. We'll see. Because for the cookies, I'm gonna do a small batch of cookies. We're gonna, I'm, I'm shooting for one tray of cookies here. And with that one tray, uh, I'm not gonna need a whole lot of fish. And I'm debating how I wanna go about this. I think that's gonna be too much. This is probably gonna be, well, we can actually use one of these since we're going shallow. Pickle juice icing. Oh. I guess I should probably measure this to be somewhat accurate about things. And we'll add at least that in water. Just make a quick, simple syrup there. And so what I'll do with the fish sticks is I'm going to cook them as I normally would, which we're gonna throw them in the uh, oven and give them proper bake according to directions on the package. I'm then going to take them out and throw them into the simple syrup and hopefully soak it into the simple syrup, getting all sorts of sugar into with that fish. It'll still be authentically a fish stick thing, but we're, we're essentially candying our fish sticks 
and then putting them, mashing them into cookies. That's the plan. I spent forever trying to find ideas for doing this. Uh, I can consider doing trust, crusts. I don't like the idea of doing crusts because of how much protein there is there with... I've tried it with other things. I think these are too thick. I think the fish has got too much moisture to it. Um... <laughs> no, it actually doesn't sound that bad of a combo, bun buns. Uh, fish stick and pickled juice. Um, it is sort of tartar sauce-ish area. Um, just the idea of making frosting from pickle juice, chickle, pickling liquid. Oh. Welcome in, Will. How you doing tonight? And battle. Savor it, folks. It's the last stream with all the overlays. Everything changes on Friday. Catalina getting those assists. Diff Wilson walking away with the scrolls though for their monk. Of course we want to finish the chapter. We got, we're on the boss level. We got to kill the boss first. No quest. No quest. I don't got any money to buy anything, so we're just stuck waiting for the battle. Back to cooking stuff. Chat always with the dirty mind. Get your mind out of the gutter, chat. Trust your Gorton's fisherman. Wow, these are thinner than I thought. These actually might have worked okay as a crust. Because, I mean, they're, they're wide, but they're, they're thin. They're thin. I 
I saw absolutely no dessert recipes using fish sticks. I saw a couple of meme references to fish sticks and chocolate pudding. And um, what else did I see there? There were searches for how to use fish sticks as a crust. Even more particularly, there have been searches for how to make fish sticks into a cheesecake crust. So there's obviously public interest in a fish stick cheesesteak, or fish stick cheesecake. Cheesesteak. <laughs> I would think that being like wants to go outside where it's cold but in protest goes behind your monitors where it's probably pretty warm silly kitty coffee is delicious today well poker I have been hooked on this coffee for a while now. Um, and since it's got a little bit of a wider distribution than normal, normally I like to buy things that are much locally, more locally uh, roasted. Uh, but I've, these both, there's two of these roasts by Stumptown that, this is their lighter one that I really like of theirs. The other one is their founders. Uh, I don't think they're nationwide distribution, but they're at least like West Coast. I forgot how long we need to cook these things. In fact, I never checked. Nine minutes. So I'm gonna give him 10. <laughs> Flurkin. I have no idea what that word is, fluffy bun buns. Okay, coffee's starting to wake the brain up here. Let's see what else we can get started here now. Let's make some tortillas, or at least some tortilla dough. We need some AP flour for that. Oh, it's her cat. Silly kitty. Working, you silly kitty. I have no idea if Catalina has speakers or headphones. We could all call its name and drive it nuts. We, we could have a Discord call in and have everyone call it its name at once. <laughs> Hey, Ozzy.
That's cats always sticking their butt in your face. And then we need some hot water with this. Let's just use some hot tap water here. dirty anyways. I was trying to keep the handle clean, but both my hands were dirty. Just really trying to knead this to get it to come together, but it's giving me a little trouble tonight. We will get there, though. Orange tabby. I think you've thrown photos in the Discord before.
Oh, so it's a smart kitty. <laughs> Maybe a smart ass, but a smart kitty. <laughs> coffee spill. Let's get rid of this flower. Gotta be getting close on these fish sticks on their first bake for things. Things I bought for tomorrow also include. I figured if we're gonna open up the bottle of Blanton's, we might as well try the base one that they, you know, throw everything else into. Uh, so we're gonna do a bit of a tasting here on Friday. I'll be opening that bottle of Blanton's, which is a sort of a rare bottle. You can find them, but they're pricey and um, not impossible to find sort of a thing, but it's up there. Uh, Buffalo Trace, which I just showed you there, that's that's a $20, $25 bottle, depending on where you are. And then we also have, or I also have here, a bottle of E.H. Taylor. All three of these bourbons were produced or are produced at Buffalo Trace which is where I went and when I was in Kentucky this year let's take a look at these puppies we have fish sticks fish sticks So turning the simple syrup back on, on the stove, we're going to add a couple of these into the simple syrup while oh, they're still nice, hot and fresh right out of the oven. I think six should be enough for this project. We're just doing one tray of cookies. We got fish sticks in simple syrup and the rest of the fish sticks there. They smell like fish sticks. Not overly exciting. There's barely any fish there. Like, you can see there's fish there, but it's... it's there's not a lot there. Honestly, the flavor is more of the flour than the fish. Fish is very much a background thing almost. And oddly enough, the breading makes me want to add ketchup. Like, it wants me to go tomato in my mind. My Ozzy, I didn't know you had such a strong response to pickles. Fish is definitely there on the second one. But still, that... When you take it as like a whole piece of 
stick, which most people probably bite 80% of it in the first bite or something like that. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait on the cookies still a little bit longer. We're going to let this simmer here. I don't know if that's quite... Let's give that a little more heat. Come on, somewhere in between there. Work with me. Oh, oh well. <laughs> yeah, no ogres until WoW week. That's next month. I still don't have tonic. I don't know if it's any good. I think I got a bottle of grenadine.
they're bubbling away. I turned it 180 degrees because it seemed to be only bubbling on one side. <laughs> All right, I think half of a lime's good for that. Some pretty heavy salt there. Dried cilantro. Mm, let's get it. Those I do want to add. We're going to do not a normal salsa for this tonight. Note I'm only doing this to the side that hasn't been in the sugar with my finger.
What's that? Kata? Kata, Kata. I'm unmuted. Just Cat or Catalina, okay. Trying to get these done before that battle. I was muted. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Had me worried there for a moment, Catalina. getting that gold. Catalina helping out with the assists. Boss defeated. And now we're on to a new campaign, I think. New campaign, I think. Wow. Oh, hey. That would have helped, wouldn't it have, HUD? I apologize for that. But we won. <laughs> My bad. Wait a minute, let's let's decide which direction we want to go here. I'm not seeing much in the way of anything as far as chests here. So I think I'm gonna take the top route. No more bubbies. No more gummy guys. Sorry, Suki. We'll see how that does in 30 minutes. All right, we got some tomatoes, we got some olives, we got some lime juice, we got some herbage, a little salt, pepper, and MSG. Let's add a bit of jalapeno in there. Yeah, I would say that this one is perhaps the one I've been stumped on the hardest. Like... I, I was pretty hard-pressed with coming up with ideas for that. So what I have back there on the stove, Catalina. 
is I have about six fish sticks there that have been simmering in uh, simple syrup, hopefully heavily infusing them with sugar. And then those are going to get mixed in with a typical cookie dough. And so the idea is I'm sort of candying fish sticks and then mashing them into cookies. They, they don't when I ate them in small bites. When I took a whole fish stick at once, there was a distinct fish flavor, so I don't know. Like, when I ate, I ate, it in, ate it in bits and pieces, definitely the flour and the breading stood out much more to me than the fish. By the way, folks, I found a copy of the MSG command, so it will be restored here when I get around to that. I was thinking I was going to have to rewrite it. I thought I had lost it entirely. Okay. What else are we throwing into this lovely mix? We're throwing a bit of green onion. Owies. But we're going to cheat and just use some of the greens here tonight. Just cheating tonight since most of that's going to be used on Friday.
Lastly, let's add a little Vidalia in there. Let's skip dicing tonight. I don't feel like dicing. Hey, Kip. Doing pretty good. How about yourself? to see you in what's your game du jour what, what you've been playing lately <laughs> bun buns is amazing at the uh, uplifting comments and gifts that was a little heavy on the olive oil there. All right, so we'll just let that hang out. We'll use this as our salsa slash topping for our tacos a bit later. So we got sort of like a salsa with some cabbage and uh, Kalamata olives in there. Using cherry tomatoes instead of slicers or your typical candidates. Uh, okay. I think our next step here is cookies. Lots of work right now, Kip. Lots of people working right now. Lots of uh, hitting the grindstone. With the world.
I think I need something to drink. So we got our toppings for tacos. We got our fish sticks ready to go. Just need to be warmed up for that. Uh, yeah, we gotta do our cookies. Cookies. Cookies, cookies, cookies. We'll just do it all together. We'll just mash them together and bowl. It's debating whether I wanted to take the fish sticks and mash them in with the flour first or just go at it with everything. And I think I actually I'm gonna put the fish sticks in before I do the flour and do the flour left last. Uh-oh. Got too much stuff on the shelf for Friday. Precision measurement tonight. So first thing is we'll cream our sugars with our butter. Vanilla extract, shredded cheese and ketchup. We're, we're trying for dessert here. We're trying for, we're, we're trying for dessert here. One egg may be too much for this, but oh well. Uh, 
Uh, Kenji Alt Lopez just wrote in the New York uh, Times food section about. You guys are reminding me of his his most recent article about uh, depression burgers, or I guess they're uh, they're they're known for a certain particular part of the U.S. where it's like you have a single burger. But in that single burger, you've got like half an onion smashed and griddled into it. Okay, this spoon ain't cutting it anymore. I need to get to a whisk. Why chocolate and caviar works, Catalina. I've done white chocolate and caviar on stream. You'll see it occasionally on stream with that giant, like, it's a piece of tilapia with a giant daub of uh, caviar on there. But I did a white chocolate beurre blanc with that. And it worked. Pinch of salt. And fish sticks. Candied fish sticks. They're, I mean, they're sticking amount of sugar. They're, they're sticking to the pan here. All right, are you getting the sugar pull there? On cam. Hey, look at the. Now, yeah, let's let that soak for a minute.
Oh my, they do act like they're candied too. The little bits that smashed and stuck to this, stuck to this. Fish stick cookies. It's up there. I think uh, cricket brownies is still a little bit more unique for me. Baking powder, baking soda. certainly try ostrich and I'd like to try an ostrich egg someday that said I don't think I have availability to them here where I live right now uh, goat I've done all sorts of goat stuff I've done all sorts of lamb stuff uh, kangaroo that came up in the ingredient challenge not too long ago and I was reading about it it just sounds like it's so riddled with parasites all the time it makes me almost Unless it's coming from like a dedicated farm. I don't know if I would want to do kangaroo. All right, fish cookies. I can't see that I've seen brush kangaroo meat here in the States. I've seen all sorts of jerkies and things along that line. of a counter wide or hand size cookie here but that's what I got so I'm scooping it Cookies.
cookies in the oven. All right, salad time. Salad after a battle. We'll actually show it this time though, folks. Apologize for that last battle. Look, he took off. Let's do our battle to war. Getting them kills. Catalina helping out with those assists. Assist, 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 assist. The assists. Dib Wilson getting the scroll. Congrats. Ooh, it's one of these. Um. I'm going to say over here. We'll have the one little guy down here we have to worry about. But otherwise we'll be fighting out from our corner here. what I was doing. We got this out to do salad salad. Doing a Caesar salad tonight. I'm absolutely cheating on the Caesar salad. I have purchased dressing. I do promise to make Caesar dressing on stream yet again. I really like my own Caesar dressing, to be honest. But 
I try to limit how much, I mean, these ingredient nights can get out of hand really quick. So I try to do a little limiting on how from scratch we're doing things. Just for a little color. You can't wait to see me try the cookies. I can. Debating what I want to get here together next. We're going to leave that just like that add our dressing to that last minute. I think our next, I need to get tortillas done here next. Yes, I did, Ozzy. Can you steam mixed greens? You you can certainly do so. It's not very tasty though. Hey, I wanted a challenge, Ozzy. This is certainly a challenge. Doing some smaller tortillas here tonight. sticks.
definitely better when they're warm. I'm wondering what I'm doing here. I'm sort of pinching all the sides into the center, which then gets smooshed. Trying to jump out of my hands there. Timer, you're late. Where are you, timer? There you are. Oh, we're going to give those a little longer. Another two minutes. Not too long. Probably throw it in the trash. I'm I'm right there with Colecchio on Okra. Um, there there's a, a, a very very select few are able that are able to cook okra acceptably. And I'm not interested in trying the rest. I get the tortilla holder. Thank you for the clip. All right, so those are cooked. Too much egg. I say too much egg because I mean they 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 stayed in their scoop mounds and yeah oh I'm gonna try one on stream bun buns don't don't worry but we're, we're gonna have to wait a moment for that while I'm burning tortillas over here toasty on that second one there and turn that pan down for a minute there it was smoky might have just burnt my finger lately there playing games against the hot pan trying to get the tortillas moving 
moving. Nah. If it's bad enough for that, I'll need a spore in it tomorrow. That is one thing that I did learn working in kitchens. Do treat your burns. Like the whole water thing, I don't know, maybe it may help immediately. It helps a little bit with feeling, but really when it comes to use aloe, use whatever you want, neosporin, whatever you find as far as that. But I do highly recommend you treat burns. Can't burn too many of these. I only got four of them. If there is truth to the fact that water or pouring cold liquid over it will slow it down, the because like carryover cooking with normal cooking. You remove the heat source, it doesn't mean that your skin stops cooking. Interesting gif. I'm going to put the fish sticks back in the oven just to warm back up. <laughs> well, nachos are made from tortillas. Are we, uh, are we discriminating against types of tortillas? Are we a tortilla assumer? Uh, I do not know off the top of my mind, on top of my head, BB, but those who know me, I don't remember terms. I'm a very visual dude. I've done a whole ton tons of stuff in cooking and I've got a lot of hands-on practice with stuff but you, you try and hit me with terms you, you you're gonna I'm gonna lose every time okay I can see that as a Pakistani term nice well hopefully it's tasty Uh, last thing for our tacos tonight. What did I do with you? Oh, you're down here. look very clean. I didn't do a very good job cleaning that. That yeah, looks a little better.
some mayo, some sour cream. Cayenne pepper. Garlic. And salt and pepper. I've had things with ghost pepper. I haven't had a straight up ghost pepper. I don't really have any desire to. I used to do all sorts of hot stuff, but I used to do all sorts of hot stuff back when habaneros were the thing like 15, 20 years ago. Sounds like a familiar story. When I was in high school, I ate a habanero. And I was relatively fine, but apparently my my teacher was like, are you okay? Like, do you need to go to the hospital? <laughs> no, I was not a football player. some fish sticks to our tacos.
We'll add our salsa slash salad slash pretty topping. Trying to keep it somewhat dry. Cat's mind still in the gutter. I told you to get your mind out of the gutter a while ago. shredded Monterey Jack from the other night. And some of our Why wouldn't I, Bun Buns? Why wouldn't I want to use the hook? you bun buns. time.
this is sort of a why not at this point. I mean, we can save the one with the seed in it, but the rest of that one might as well just use it up. Exactly, Catalina. I'm stealing this from, uh, I'll just find dining. Uh, from my specific memory, I remember a plate Marco Pierre did that was similar to this. It wasn't a, forget what he was staging like that. Got a new thing of the good stuff. New uh, chunk of the good stuff. Let's do our final battle of the evening.
victory. Catalina getting those assists, just wiping out everyone on the assists tonight. Suki and Iromifu getting them goodies. We're going to leave this here for this week. I say for this week until Friday. I'm doing a 12 hour stream. 12 hours. So I guess I got to try one of these things. Prove to you that they're edible, at least. Oh, wait, one more thing before we do that. Can't go there just yet. Scallops and zucchini. Base scallops and zucchini. So we gotta vote up for next week. Base scallops, which base scallops are much smaller than those in the photo there. They're, they're just small little guys. And zucchini, which perfect time of year for zucchini. I mean, we're right in the heat of summer. This is zucchini time. So both of those are great. Happy with either of those. That'll be next week's. All right, cookie, cookie. It does have a bit of a swish smell to it. not horrible it's not great either it's rather mild there is a little bit of a fish flavor to it but more than that it's sweet cookie not horrible in that I mean it's edible it's something like it's not like I, I put it in my mouth and I can't stand eating it. it doesn't mean that I like it or I'm going to seek it out or I'm going to suggest it to any of you which I will not do <laughs> but we have cookies We have a Caesar salad, and we've got some fine looking fish tacos here. We've done our battles for the evening. I haven't seen anyone guide the raid this evening. Thank you, Thank you.
Thank you, Will Poker. Greatly appreciate the biddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I've got most of my cooking done, or got most of my shopping done for Friday. I do have one big purchase, big purchase, that I might leave until, maybe even until the morning of, but definitely until tomorrow. <laughs> Catalina. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Who is on here? I think I'm gonna leave it right there tonight. Wanna to thank everyone for joining me. Gonna have a long day here on Friday. I hope you come to join me. Gonna be doing multiple types of stocks. Gonna be doing baked beans from scratch. Gonna be doing a whole roasted pork shoulder. Gonna be doing French toast. Gonna to be doing um, coleslaw. Going to be doing, uh, what else do I have planned? There's gotta be more that I've planned for for Friday. I hope you come and join me for that. I'm going to go enjoy all this, these tacos and this salad. These are going to be great. And I hope you all have a lovely evening. Good night, everyone. Awesome, Mind Disease. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>